With Apple's announcement of the iPhone 14 comes a variety of new features, but also the removal of the device's long-standing SIM card slot. Why is Apple making the switch to eSIM cards? We'll take a look as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. At Apple's recent press event, the company showcased the upcoming iPhone 14, as well as a variety of new features to expect from the new operating system, iOS 16. But the excitement of iPhone enthusiasts around the US quickly turned to confusion as the company announced it'd be removing physical SIM cards from its new lineup. In turn, those individuals that purchase either the iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, or 14 Pro Max will have to settle for an embedded SIM card. Now, embedded SIM cards, often referred to as eSIM cards, are hardwired into the phone. As a result, this means new iPhone owners won't be able to transfer the physical SIM card from their current phone when upgrading. Instead, you'll either have to call your carrier, complete an online enrollment process, or use iOS 16's new feature to transfer eSIMs between iPhones via Bluetooth. While Apple has supported eSIM technology since 2018, it's always given customers the option to use physical cards as well. Now, while the response online has been rather negative when it comes to Apple's decision, there are a few benefits eSIM has over the traditional SIM card. For example, with the ability to store eight eSIMs and run two at once, iPhone owners can use multiple numbers on one device. For those individuals that travel outside of the United States often, this is both good and bad news. It means you can keep your US number while no longer having to swap out local SIM cards to save on roaming data. Instead, services like Aerelo will help you remotely source eSIMs when traveling abroad. On the other hand, carriers in some countries, such as mainland China, don't support eSIM technology yet, which could pose a problem for some avid travelers looking to upgrade their device. That said, eSIMs do make it far easier to switch providers and to trial run their services in the United States. For example, T-Mobile uses eSIM to let prospective customers test its network for three months before signing a long-term contract. And once again, if you do decide to change providers, there will be no need to go to the store to receive a new SIM card as the process can be done online. eSIMs also provide more security as someone can't remove a physical SIM card if the iPhone is lost or stolen. eSIM cards also have a higher likelihood of protecting iPhone owners from SIM swap scams. These attacks occur when scammers contact your phone's carrier and trick them into activating a SIM card tied to your account. In turn, this allows the scammer to have complete control over your phone, bypass any multi-factor authentication you have set up, and access online banking apps. In 2021, the FBI received 1,611 reports of SIM swap scams, a huge increase from the measly 320 reports it received between 2018 and 2020. And while eSIM technology aims to cut down on these scams, it's crucial to boost your phone's security with strong passwords for apps, mobile carrier alerts, and callback requests to prevent unknown individuals from making changes to your device. For more help securing business-grade mobile devices, contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description. And to stay up to date on trending technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of SyncUp with Rocket IT.